hi there welcome to my youtube channel my name is ukachi please ensure you are subscribed in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make your own diy arabic tea so without further ado let's get right into this video the first thing you would need is a jar of hot water your black tea or even green tea your ayurvedic powder i'm going to be using fenugreek amla and shikakai all from hair essentials by ax or by axe you, i also use a, a half tablespoon and a spray bottle and a mixing bowl and a handkerchief so i'm going to dip my black tea now into the warm water this black tea helps to prevent breakage this is a super strengthening tea shikakai on the other hand is called fruit for the hair it's really as it's not as alkaline as our hair it helps to cleanse your scalp without stripping it off the moisture and it also helps to balance its ph also so when when mixed with amla fam shikakai is the real thing so the next thing i put also is my amla powder amla is gotten from indian gooseberry and it contains a lot of fatty acids and beautiful nutrients that would help your hair to be strengthened and conditioned at the same time and it also helps to treat itchy scalp and dandruff so i put half a tablespoon of amla also and finally i went in with fenugreek you guys have seen fenugreek on my channel i even pronounce it fenugreek you can hear the greek in my fenugreek fenugreek helps with blood flow, helps stimulate blood flow, helps to condition your hair and helps to promote hair growth. It contains a lot of beautiful nutrients also and it helps to prevent dandruff just like amla because dandruff is also a major thing like in hair care dandruff can hook you at any point. These powders from Hair Essentials by Axe are super fine. They wash off so easily like so I let the, the tea sit for about half an hour and then I just start to see I see it with a white cloth or a handkerchief this is actually a handkerchief so you just pour it turn it over into the bowl and sieve so that you're able to just get the liquid out from the mixture you don't want the powders in your hair at the moment you use the powders for something else I'm going to share with you guys later so make sure you are subscribed and you don't miss it so I put out all the liquid and I just sieved it out the white cloth this is just the best way to do it. This is the cheapest, this is the most affordable way to do it. If you're going to try using a sieve, sieves are not even this tiny, so ensure it's a white cloth. And I transferred it into my spray bottle so for easier application to my hair. So I used this tea to just pre pull my hair. I'll show you guys what's up in the next clip. This is how the tea looks just golden brown, looking all cute. So this is the tea. And my hair had been really dry. Like I was in the village, so I had my tan dirt with my hair. I also use my soft and natural conditioner to prepare. I really like to prepare with conditioner because it's just easier. So this is how my hair. My hair was really, really dry. So I applied the tea to my roots, just to my scalp, and just to get my scalp ready. And then I apply it just on the strands of my hair. Then I try to pick out my hair. Use it to first tangle first before I go in with my conditioner because this alone will not detangle your hair as good. So just apply then i went in my conditioner which i used to tangle my hair effectively and i think that's all it's how i do my hair these days i hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me across social media platforms at natural catching and i will see you in my next video bye